You have been working a long time. Yeah. There's a picture of you that I'm just uh, going to ask you what's happening here. You're jumping rope, I think. This is the picture that I saw. <laughs> is this you just exercising, or what is oh, that? Gosh, I don't. <laughs> that is just. Uh, that's not me. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say that's not me. Yeah, but it is. I don't, I yes, don't, I don't it, know. It is, and you must explain. I think, you know, in, back in the 80s, when I first started working as an actor, um, aerobics was popular and everything. And, sure. And short shorts, as you can see, <laughs> ever so flattering short yeah. shorts. And uh, I guess uh, we were doing a photo shoot for something. I don't remember, actually. You know, well, how does Brian Cranston stay in shape? You know, and it's like, oh, I can jump. <laughs> B, my name is Brian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about this book, how you've had uh, time to write this in between. Uh, how have you had time to write this? <laughs> yes. Um, you know, on, on a lot of flights back and forth uh, across doing work, uh, I, I would have time to be in my little cubicle on the plane and, and write. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that's the guy. other guy. That's the other guy. Do you guy. miss that guy? Do you miss Walter White? I, you know, I, I miss him to a... Yeah. I miss, I miss the experience of playing him and being around all those great people for six years. But the story came to such a great beginning, middle, and end yeah. that I, I'm satiated. I'm fine. I, it's like, let's... I'd rather leave with an audience wanting more of that than, than going, oh, my God, is that sure. show still on? You know, so that's, you know. But... Oh, now stop it! Very popular. This is, uh, this is Brian... This is uh, Tidy Whitey Week. Yeah, it is. Actually, there should be a Tidy Whitey Week. You know what? It, it has just become Tidy Whitey Week. <laughs> Yeah, it's a heck with Mark Harmon. I should have asked him what he wears. <laughs> Get him back in here. Yeah. Um, but wait, before we move on, so, so there's lots of little stories. They're all yeah. short stories about... The stories about my life. The, the stories that I've been telling to friends about the, the challenging childhood I had and, and how I... Quite a challenging childhood. Yeah, so, yeah. A little bit about that. Yeah. Um, my dad and mom were both actors, and uh, they met uh, in an acting class in the late 40s, and... Uh, came together quickly and got married and set up shop and and they flamed out pretty you know when I was about 10 11 years old um, and my I didn't see my dad he left the family there and so I, I had to grow up kind of fast I think and my brother fortunately my older brother Kyle who uh, helped me through a lot of it but you just try to navigate your way through a challenging childhood by any means necessary yeah. I mean, and then finally, if you come through on the other side and you've made it, then then so much the better. And yeah. So the, a lot of that is in the book, and also meeting my wife and. Yeah, you have the story about you proposing to your wife. You have to tell everyone how you proposed to your okay. wife. Okay. So I knew it was time. I knew she is such a great catch. She's a beautiful woman and a and heart and soul. And I realized that if I faced her and got on one knee and said, "Would you be my wife? I love you." Uh, please, I would start weeping, and I didn't. I, I wouldn't be able to get the words out. So I had to figure out a way where she was not looking at me when I was asking her to marry me. <laughs> now, how how do you do that? And it occurred to me when I was in the shower one time, and I looked down. There's the bathtub, and I went, "We take a bath together. How romantic!" Okay, so we're up at this cabin. I get a bubble bath. I get champagne. And it was New Year's Day, so it, it made sense there might be champagne celebrating it. So there's champagne, and there's bubble bath. I had some light music on. And she was, I was going to get in first, then she was here, and she were both facing the same direction, right? So, and then I would ask her to marry me. <laughs> the problem was, where do I put the engagement ring? <laughs> because she, there was no place to put it, so I just... I just had this thought. I, I put it on my baby toe. <laughs> I put the ring all the way onto my baby toe and submerged it underneath all the bubbles. In she comes, and she's talking, and, I'm, and we're saying, this is nice, and we're staying there a while. I'm getting nervous. I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do some more champagne, more champagne. <laughs> OK, here it comes. And Robin, you mean everything in the world to me. Oh, what's that? And I push her face <laughs> And I, I can't imagine not spending the rest of my life with you. Oh, I keep pushing <laughs> her face away. 
And I want you, uh, if you would, to be my wife. I, I, you would make me the happiest man in the world. Oh, and it's, I keep putting... <laughs> until finally she said yes. And then we did kiss. And then I said, oh, right, um, here. <laughs> She had to take it off my foot. Yeah.